I'm Gerald Petrozella, uh, Associate Director of Academic Technology and Adjunct Professor of Philosophy at MCLA. One of my professional research interests and teaching interests uh, is around the ethics of artificial intelligence. In our contemporary world, artificial intelligence is becoming one of the key areas. One specific type of example uh, where we can see these theories uh, with an application in artificial intelligence is the self-driving car. If there's a car on the road which has no human behind the wheel, um, that artificial intelligence is going to have some mechanism for deciding how to react uh, in certain kinds of critical situations on the road. So for instance, if a self-driving car is, is going along at the speed limit and sees a pedestrian crossing the road ahead, there has to be uh, a lot of thought given to the specific ways that we program that artificial intelligence to decide whether to stop, whether to swerve, uh, whether to carry on straight ahead. There's uh, utilitarian or consequentialist ethics saying that right and wrong have to do with the outcomes or consequences of choices. There's what's called deontological ethics, which has to to do with understanding right and wrong uh, from a sense of, of duty or, or obligation. And then the third classical theory of ethics that we, we think about is called virtue ethics, which has its roots in ancient Greek philosophy um, and has to do with uh, the development of character as opposed to any particular action or choice. Part of the, the really difficult and, and challenging investigation in this field has to do with uh, prediction, which is notoriously difficult, but um, thinking through what are the obligations of the developers of artificial intelligence to um, the people who might be impacted by the development of these types of, of programs. It's challenging and fascinating and um, more complex than you might think.